I'm Jackie and welcome back to my channel, Hearth and Apron. Today we are hanging out in the garden because this is my Earth Day special and I'm so excited to be sharing it with you. We're going to be preparing everything within the potager space. We're going to be getting the beds ready themselves. We're going to build this little greenhouse behind me as well as make a brand new bed out of repurposed materials, including a DIY solar fountain. So excited about that. Um, we're also going to be planting my seedlings and I have a really obscure recipe to share with you with something you may not have even realized that you were able to eat. Now, this was filmed over multiple days, as you can tell, because I'm talking after my greenhouse is already built. So please excuse the clothes changes. Also, a huge thank you to my husband, Nate, who has been a huge help in this episode. Without him, there's no way I could have pulled this off. So thank you. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please don't forget to do so right now. If not only do I have some fun, weird episodes like this where we head out to different spaces, but I also have a lot of homemaking content just for you. Anyways, let's go ahead and get going. We're gonna start out the fun by going ahead and picking up the area and setting up a mini greenhouse that I picked up from my local tractor store. Now guys, I only paid $40 for this and they even brought it out to my car. I am so excited about it. It opens up so many more possibilities for us and what we can grow and it extends our growing season significantly. Because here where we locally live, sometimes we've even been known to have a fluke storm in early June. It's happened. Um, we've had complete whiteouts in the beginning of May. So you just really cannot trust the weather and this greenhouse makes so many more possibilities available to us and I'm so excited about it. We're also going to be putting up a couple little pansy hanging baskets here and I feel like it just kind of really sets up the area. My husband is also going to make a pad underneath to keep it level and also to help keep bugs and things from coming in underneath. Um, how, do you guys have anything like this? Let me know down below. I'm so excited about it. There's so much room. And for $40, I don't can't believe I haven't done this sooner. And I'll sing until my arms give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the tree. know that you can eat pansies. We keep these here in the vegetable garden so that we can use them as a garnish and sometimes we put them in our salads or on our like baked goods. They are so amazing and they just add such a beautiful pop of color. Do you guys grow any edible flowers in your garden? It's unsaid, words be spoken and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can stake this down and then I'll take you inside and show you how we're setting it up. We got these trays from the dollar store that are for draining your dishes and we actually put all of our plants on top of them because it gives them a little bit more of a steady base and makes it so that it drains to the back so that it's not creating puddles inside of our greenhouse here. I am so excited. These are some lettuces that we picked up from our local nursery. I cannot wait to plant them. Now we're just 
just gonna set up a couple little seedlings here. We're growing all kinds of things this year from green beans to black beans, squash. We've got different kinds of flowers in here and edible herbs. And we are gonna put all of these into our greenhouse after we are done planting them and keep watering them every day. And when the light hit your face, we were just kids, but I knew right away that I will be with you until I stop breathing. I will keep loving you. Now we're gonna make a bed from refurbished materials. This is some random wood that we had received from my mother-in-law that she no longer needed in her garden and we decided to cut the edges and make a really unique shape and put a DIY solar fountain in the middle. Now to make that, we used a copper bowl that we have had around for years. It had become terribly tarnished. And you guys, I have the coolest hack to show you how to clean it. It was like magic. So I'm gonna start out by just giving this bowl a really good clean. And that's because it has been outside with some candles, so some dirt had accumulated inside. After that, I'm going to take it inside where I am making a special mixture that is five parts water, one part vinegar, and one tablespoon of salt for each of that. And it is a recipe that I got from Rachel from cravingsomecreativity.com. You guys, it was like magic. I did so little work. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing of me cleaning off this copper pot, but I am so impressed. Make sure to check out Rachel at cravingsomecreativity.com. She has got some amazing ideas. Keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Oh, hold me close Promise you won't let go I'm not there without you I don't know what I would do without you You are the one I choose I wanna go Okay, so my husband already set a 4x4 post and concrete underneath all of this dirt here and we are just going to go ahead and screw in this copper bowl. Because it is made of copper, it is super easy to screw into because it is a soft metal. After that, we are going to go over it with some silicone waterproof caulking so that it, nothing leaks out and then we are going to throw in this little solar um, fountain that I picked up on Amazon. I have it linked down below. Guys, it lights up at night. Do I need to say more? make a garden sign for my herb trellis. I am using a wooden sign that I picked up from Michaels. Don't worry, it's linked down below if you want to get one. And then I am just going to draw on what I want with pencil and go over it with puff paint. After that, I'm going to spray a spray paint over top of it. I'm using burnished amber with a touch of hammered copper. And then we're just going to attach it outside. I feel like this turned out absolutely perfect. If you'd like to know what is written on this sign, it is French for, on top it says, our cottage vegetable garden and on the bottom in larger letters it says place of happiness and the reason that i chose to put this in french is because this is a potager style garden and i just thought that this would give it just the perfect touch that it needed Vision that I saw is getting closer 
after every dawn Ooh, we are dreamers of the IG friends, you may already know about this, but if not, our home just recently grew by four feet as we adopted a new puppy named Navara. She is a six months old puppy. She's a kind of border collie mix, we think with some kind of Dalmatian possibly. And she is just sassy and completely sweet. She loves to do things like chew on bushes that she's not supposed to and any random plant that she can get a hold of as well as play with her toys and we just absolutely love her and i thought that i would introduce her okay, and we're back to the garden we are basically just going to prepare all of the beds for the rest of the year to do that i am going to go through and get out any dead plants from last year anything else that may have fallen into the beds and then i'm going to be using a hoe a pitchfork and a little rake to break this up then we're going to add a whole bunch more dirt and we're going to break that up again and mix it all together and you might wonder why am I doing all this work why am I breaking this up that is because if your soil is super hard then the roots it makes it a lot harder for them to grow down into it so I want nice loose soil so that my plants can grow nice and big mm -hmm. I used to sit and stare now the light runs through my lashes It's taken 40 years, blood is sweat and tears mm. You are the love, I can't show you how to start to find your way I like the old fashioned way, you give me that sweet love, those warm up and kisses oh. Life has a quirky way Circle breaks, we find a new day And strangers we know Become husbands mm -hmm. Every dance has its pace Interlace, intertwine now you can't save time Run along, kids You two will be more than pets one day You are the love And poof! Magically, there's more soil. Ha! Not. My poor sweet husband had to put all of this in here. Guys, I couldn't pick up those bags. You guys should have seen me at Lowe's trying to pick some out. It was a combination between a hilarious and pathetic.
you can kind of see right here, we had some volunteer plants. We had some red romaine lettuce that seemed to have popped up on the sides of our bed this year. So we're going to go ahead and transplant those later. You can see our leeks are also sp starting to come up and some of our herbs. I am so excited to be growing this year. Have you guys already planted? Let me know what you're planting down below. Or if you guys aren't into gardening, I want to hear everything about what you like to do. to see from the moment we arrive Cornelia you are one who will survive when time's been bad you put smiles on it that you can eat squash leaves and not only can you eat them they're actually really good for you they are a great source of minerals like zinc potassium calcium and magnesium and they also have essential vitamins like a b and c that are really great for boosting your immune system so we went ahead and decided to utilize all of these goodies this year and we sauteed some garlic shallots and in some butter and once those were nice and golden brown we added these prepared squash leaves as well as a quarter cup of chicken broth threw on the lid and let it steam until they were nice and tender. I was actually really surprised by this, guys. I did not want to try this, so my husband convinced me, and I'm so glad that he did, because now I have another wonderful food source that is so easy to grow in the yard. Okay guys, this is the end of today's episode. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the pictures from last year's garden. I can't wait to make more memories this year. And I am so grateful that you decided to hang out with me and stay and watch this video. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you have an absolutely magical day and I cannot wait to see you next time. Yeah.